Hey, what's up everybody? How's everybody doing? Um, this is Rami Z. I'm doing a quick recap um, of the trade today. I, today I traded BTCS. Um, this thing moved up 125% today. Um, let me show you a daily chart. I took a break from trading for a couple weeks because uh, I took a couple losses and I just wanted to get back to the basics and back to studying and, you know, come back with some fresh eyes. But, um, let me show you a daily chart real fast with this stock. This is a da six month daily chart, you guys. And you can, as you can tell, this thing's on a breakout right now. Um, when it, when a stock, you know, breaks previous resistance, it usually, you know, a lot of volume comes in, it usually moves up. At the end of the day, maybe 10 minutes before close, this thing broke resistance. Um, let me show you a daily, uh, intraday chart of t today. Let's go flexible. Um, I bought my, I put my order in right here, you guys. As soon as it broke the, the intraday breakout, see that was a daily break, uh, a daily chart breakout. Today's intraday breakout, it was around eight, nine, ten cents. So when the stock already moved up maybe 60, 70 percent. I don't like to chase stocks. That's why I was waiting either on a dip or another breakout. So when this thing broke out right here, I was like, okay, let me put my order in. I put my order in like at eight point five cents, I believe, eight point four cents. As soon as I bought it, down ticked for a couple minutes, but I was watching uh, the level 2 and the times and sales. It was going, there was a lot of orders coming through on the order flow, on the tape. Um, in the last maybe hour of the day, this thing kept going and going and going. So this thing closed at 12.5 cents. You can see it almost touched 13 cents. And our, like I said, our previous, our previous, let me go to flexible grid. I could have both charts up. You can see our previous resistance in um, March, between March and April was 11.5 cents, 11.6. And I was like, you know what, I'm not even going to wait till it approaches the breakout, which I should have waited, you know, bought after the breakout, made sure it proved itself. But I bought it during the intraday breakout right here. And there was a lot of volume coming in. This thing is a uh, BTCS. It's related to Bitcoin. It's not actually Bitcoin, but... It's a Bitcoin e-commerce site, I believe, where it basically operates on the e-commerce marketplace, and um, they host and they host where an online commerce where consumers could purchase merchandise with Bitcoins and digital currencies or whatnot. And um, I know Bitcoin is a hot sector right now. I was watching a few videos on Bitcoin a couple days ago, and it was like if you would have invested like four hundred bucks in Bitcoin a few years ago. I'm not sure exactly, but it would have been a couple million right now, but I was like, wow, what a missed opportunity. But, you know, there's opportunities in the market every day. Um, the key is to have patience, you know, and avoid FOMO, avoid fear of missing out. Even though the stock today was, it was up crazy, but, you know, watching the times and sales, I was like, this thing is going to keep going up. And um, once it broke the intraday breakout I was like okay hopefully it breaks once it broke this once it broke out right here I was like okay ho hopefully it'll break out right here too so this thing like it's, it's a couple days every time it runs it does run for a couple days you know um I know the SEC says you know previous uh whatever is not addictive of future returns but to me, I think that's BS because, you know, it's all about the patterns. It's all about chart history to me. And it's it's basically the psychology, you know, of, of how traders think. You have to think of, okay, what will others do in, the situa in this situation? Not only what would I do, but how are other traders thinking right now? Are they going to come in and move the stock up? Are shorts going to come in and maybe cause a short squeeze? If this thing keeps coming up and the shorts got in, let's say the shorts got in right here thinking this is going to be the top or this is going to be the top and the, and the stock keeps going up, what's going to happen? They're going to buy back and buy back and buy back. With all the others buying, it's going to make this thing short squeeze. So this thing hit almost 13 cents and then closed at 12.5 cents, 12.5 cents. Basically moved up 125% in one day, you know this is this is crazy um if you look this thing wasn't doing nothing like it was up and down up and down i don't know if, what happened here if this was a a stock split or a reverse split i'm not sure what happened here but uh a 
I've been basically looking at it and I had this on my watch list just to keep watching it and I got the alert at maybe 10 cents I, I set an alert I think it was 9 cents I believe or 8 cents I'm not sure but I set an alert right here just in case I was like if this thing breaks man this thing could go up again crazy I know it's an OTC stock and I don't really like playing these OTCs but sometimes they do move up crazy with a lot of volume especially on a low flow this thing is 14 million float for a stock that traded at 5 cents so that's incredibly low for you know and today's volume was like I, th I believe it was 11 or 12 million so it basically almost traded its, its whole float and um, you guys have to know uh, like two key things in the market is volume and resistance you know I know OTCs there it's a little different with OTCs but there's always going to be resistance and if it breaks this resistance I'll, 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 a lot of traders could come in and be like oh you know what it just broke resistance let's get in let's get in let's get in this thing could keep moving up I had 5,000 shares and um I sold I believe half my position at 10 10 and a half cents just to lock in some profits guys when you have green and uh I only sold half because I have a problem with selling too early. I always sell too early and then an hour later or a day later the stock doubles or goes up or goes crazy and I always miss the opportunity. So I sold half my shares just in case this thing goes up tomorrow and this thing keeps running. This thing could possibly be a multi-day runner, you know, but even if it doesn't, let's say tomorrow opens up at 12, 5 cents and it drops right away, I'm definitely going to have a stop loss around 12 cents. So. At least I'll lock in the profits if it doesn't run. It's going to be a tight stop loss. But if this thing opens up tomorrow again and goes crazy, you know, we're going to be locking in more profits. So my whole goal is maybe to sell another half, maybe half my shares tomorrow, the rest of them. I have 2,400 shares, I believe. If this thing hits 15 cents, I'll be selling another half of my shares, maybe 12, 1,300 shares. If this thing keeps going, I'm just gonna hold it to see if it breaks the previous resistance of right here. Let's see, we have, let's see. Let's see if it breaks about 19.20 cents, this thing could keep going. But according to the past chart history, this thing might have resistance. It might top off around 18, 19 cents, which I hope it does. You know, it'll be it'll be good profit. But if this thing keeps breaking out, it keep keep going. You know, hopefully this thing moves up another 50, 60, 70, 100 percent tomorrow. You know, but at the same time, this thing could come crashing down tomorrow if, if there's not a lot of volume, if there's a lot of shorts, and it's all against the it's all it's all with, against the bulls and the bears. You know, we'll see how how it plays out tomorrow. Um, nobody's for sure. You know, if everybody knew exactly what was going to happen, we'd all be billionaires in the stock market. But you never know you know what happens in the stock market um you have to think about how other traders are thinking how shorts are thinking how you know how, how the majority of traders are thinking when it comes down to this you know there's always going to people be people that come home from work and run their scans and do their little scans and be like wow i, I see a lot of potential in this this thing moved up 125 percent today and a lot of people might put in their orders this thing might gap up tomorrow so we'll see what happens you guys I just wanted to show you a um, quick recap on BTCS if anybody has any questions feel free to reach out to me I appreciate everybody for watching and um, like we always say you know uh, plan the trade trade the plan trade the plan plan the trade you know don't don't go into a trade just because it's moving up make sure it has credibility behind it make sure there's volume behind it make sure it's either on a dip or breakout some sort of credibility um if anybody has any questions feel free to reach out to me and i thank everybody for watching have a good one and good luck trading you guys